Gertrude, I must speak with you. Uh, uh, not now. Gertrude, uh, it's about that letter. The letter you wrote to me. I could come out in the morning, but I can't talk to her. Lord Goring? Oh, Miss Mabel, about this evening, I... Congratulations. I beg your pardon? I gather you are to be congratulated. Well, naturally. There's nothing I like more than to be congratulated. Though invariably I find the pleasure immeasurably increased by knowing what for. Oh, haven't you heard? You're to be married. Your father says... Does he? Yes, he does. Did he by any chance tell you to who? No. When we saw you with that woman, Mrs. Cheesley, we naturally assumed... Oh, did we? Yes, we did. Well, the fact is, your assumptions are presumptuous. You see, I'm not sure that I've seen anything I quite like the look of yet. Oh, really? Mm, really. In which case, I have something vitally important to say to you. Huh? To look at a thing is quite different from seeing a thing. And one does not see anything until one sees its beauty. Really? Yes. Really. <laughs> oh, Mabel. Do you have something you wish to say to me, Lord Goring? Um. No, no, I don't think so. Then I don't wish to hear it. Good night. I'm sure that nice Mr. Trafford will have something to say to me. And I'm even surer I will be quite charmed to listen. a great nuisance. I can't find anyone else to talk to. I'm so full of interesting information. I feel like the latest edition of something or other. Well, after some consideration, there's so much to do. There's only one thing to be done. There comes a time in every son's life when he must indeed follow his father's advice. I shall go to bed at once. <laughs>